Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Estela Casas. Thanks for choosing Nine News Now. In the last 24 hours, El Pasoans have been critical of a post on social media regarding the response time of an emergency call made to 911 from UTEP. In this social media post, KTSM Nine News reporter Jesus Baltasar has learned a student was having a seizure on campus. He picks up the story. Jesus. Yes, Estela, a post made uh, yesterday on Facebook by a UTEP professor has prompted engagement critical of the El Paso, El Paso Regional Communication Center, which answers emergency calls. The professor alleges she was put on hold for nearly three minutes by 911 dispatchers. In her post, Professor Ruby Montana says she called 911 because one of her students was having a seizure during class, so she called 911. She claims she was placed on hold for three minutes and emergency services did not arrive until 15 minutes later. The response on social media has been divided. Some say the late response by dispatch is because people are calling 911 with non-emergencies. An anonymous comment on social media claims to work for the 9-11 Communication Center, saying they are understaffed and are placing people on hold when they are taking care of multiple emergencies. The El Paso Fire Department, who is part of the El Paso Regional Communication Center and 911 dispatch, sent KTSM a statement reading, the 911 Communication Center is aware of the social media posts regarding a call being placed on hold. The safety of our community and the service we provide to it are our topmost priority. An investigation is being launched into the incident. Contrary to what has been said on social media, we are always looking for individuals who would like to serve our community. To find out more, apply to the 911 Center. Please visit join.elpasofire.org." End quote. Now, I did reach out to the YouTube professor for comment. As of this broadcast, she has not yet um, uh, responded. In regard to the investigation, we are in communication with dispatch officials who will release the results of the investigation once it's concluded. Reporting live in this room, Jesus Baltasar, KTS 9 News. Okay.